spot the FedEx truck. I ran to the store quick and when I came back, package. Hey, what's going on? It's Omniax Midnight Sound 518 here and we have ourselves new headlights for the Tacoma. These are the Alpha Owls uh, Quad Pro headlights for the third generation Toyota Tacoma and they look absolutely sick. It's not a difficult install. I did have few bumps and troubles that I had to deal with and work my way through um, but it wasn't too bad we'll, talk, we'll get into those and uh, yeah and hop right into the video check it out oh oh my god it's so incredible those look absolutely insane So for those of you who have never taken your headlights out before uh, on your Tacoma, which I have not, surprisingly, uh, but we're going to learn together. So what it looks like, we've got two 10 millimeter bolts right here. We've got our little body clip tab thing right there. Uh, and then we're going to have to take the grill off in order to slide the headlight out of the housing. And if you haven't taken the grill off before, you got a 10 mil, a 10 mil, and then of course those two clips holding on to the headlight itself and then it should just slide straight out forward, uh, no problem. If you've got Raptor lights, make sure you make sure you get those all good and unplugged. And I think that's kind of it. And then we should be able to slide them out. Also, we gotta unplug all our headlights and that kind of stuff. Um, but I mean, that's pretty straightforward. But my God, look at how absolutely gorgeous these are. So damn pretty. And they're so clean and clear compared to those ones, which I do need to clean up. I got a little little, little bit of a mud pit that I drove through and uh, well, can't have that now, can we? And now that most of the sirens are gone, you can still kind of hear them a little bit. Uh, it's dark enough that I think we can do a quick lap around with the headlights. You can at least see the, how far out the beam is thrown and that kind of stuff. At the back, uh, these are the new headlights, right? And they're upside down right now but we have a little threaded screw thing right here. This is what you use in order to angle your headlights. So I don't remember exactly which is which, but one turning it one direction um, will bring them up and then turning in the other dire direction will bring them down, uh, which fairly straightforward. Just gonna do a quick lap. It looks a whole lot darker when you're in the truck just because of the window tint that I have on. Um, but I will say, I guess that's a little bit more representative from a camera standpoint. Uh, so you can see the uh, kind of the spread that the beam is, is throwing off from the OEM headlights. But the most important thing is that the end of the beam pattern, so like, I don't know, 30 or 40 feet in front of the truck is about where that beam pattern ends. So somewhere around right here. So you don't want your headlights to leave or go above the plane of the road effectively. Um, so if they are, you know, off in the distance above the uh, actual pavement level, then uh, you're blinding the guy in front of you. So just a little fun fact. Okay, so high beams on. Can't really see too much of a difference there. Um, high beams. Give you a little bit, but not a whole lot of change. Uh, definitely over the distance. Uh, while I am actively blinding myself, I'm gonna go ahead and 
back into my driveway here. Uh, so I do like the brightness and the beam pattern of the OEM lights. Uh, but if you know anything about me and you've been around on the channel for a while, you know that I do not like the OEM look. Well, that's not true. I think Toyota did an incredible job when they made the first, second, third, and now fourth gen Tacomas. Man, I want to get my hands on one of those. But uh, yeah, they did an incredible job with the design and, you know, the functionality of it. Um, and I think it looks sick. But if you know me, uh, I like to be unique, if you can't tell from the look of my truck. Functionality aside, I love being different from the other people that are going to be on this platform or on, you know, the Tacoma platform, if you know what I mean, not YouTube, the running a third gen Tacoma. I want my truck to look different. Um, and I will say that I have yet to see anybody with a Tacoma running the Alpha Owl headlights. So I'm super happy that I get to kind of be one of the first ones in the area, I guess, uh, to run them. Now, they've been around for a while, I would assume, but uh, I just have never seen them and they look sick. So let's get into it. As I mentioned before, we've got 10 millimeter bolts here, two of them, one here, one here. And then we have those two uh, body clips that you can get a little flat head under um, and just pop them out. But you guys have seen that before, so. You suck. Okay, next we have our 10 millimeter here, our 10 millimeter here, and then there's a another one of those uh, body clips right here. So I ended up taking off the entirety of the front bumper, uh, which is really easy. That clip that we already took out for the headlights, right? And then you have four body clips that run along here. And then getting into the edge here can get a little bit scary, right? <clears throat> if you've never done it before, because you have to get behind uh, like your fender and pull straight outwards. You can see these little clips right here that hold your fender in place. And then under here is a, uh, on this side, for some reason it's an 11, but it should be a 10 millimeter. That's what it is on the other side. You can unscrew that and that gives you access to the little mount, mounty thing here, right? And uh, you pull the little edge of the tab out towards you this way in order to get it over this tiny little lip here. And then up in the edge here, you can see um, there's little, there's three tabs. There's one there, one there, and then one down there, right? And if you get a screwdriver in there and just kind of give it a slight twist, it'll release this uh, little grooved edge right here. Man, I got to clean all this. I can't tell. I drove through mud the other day. That was fun. Um, yeah, and the whole reason... For doing all of that was so that we could get to that bolt right there uh, which is another 10 millimeter but it's going to hold that side of the headlight housing in and then we should be able to just pull it straight out sweetness the headlight is out i'm gonna get a little bit of cleaning going on in here So going through here, right, um, you have marker light on the far left side, your turn signal, which is going to be this one right here, your daytime running light, which is here, your high beam is going to be the black and blue, and then your low beam is going to be the single white. And as you just saw, my low beams didn't turn on at all. Um, and that's because the, I guess this pin is on the wrong side of the connector. So I just need to figure out a way to pop this out uh, and flip flop this uh, to the opposite side. Well, that was a journey. Uh, if you look in here, you see a couple of little little plastic dinglings there. It's a little bit easier to see it from that side. Basically, they start on the outer edge and they push towards the center of the plug. So if you get a screwdriver, uh, the pin, by the way, is going to be along the center. So if you get a screwdriver along the outer edge of the pin, then you can get it on that little plastic clip, you can pull it loose. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and flip flop this to the other side now. Alrighty y'all, it is indeed the next day and I am indeed in uniform because I'm going to work here in a few, but uh, I had a massive brain moment when I was thinking about these headlights last night and what I needed to do in order to figure it out. So let me show you. So I was thinking to myself, I was like, well, whenever I turned on my blinkers, I was getting hyper flash, right? And whenever I turned on the, the high and the low beams and all that sort of stuff on the headlight, the daytime running light, the blinker, everything was just a solid color, right? So that, that got me to thinking that the circuit, the headlight circuit or the, the turn signal circuit was thinking or was seeing that it wasn't connected to a bulb, which is why I was getting hyper flash which made me think that the wiring that was running power to make the turn signal do the turn signal things was not connected properly. Therefore, the car would think there's no bulb in it, right? So I went into the back of the housing here and here is the turn signal plug. Uh, I unplugged it, right? But if you look at right here, we have like a peach colored wire and then we have a white and black. That white and black is gonna be your ground. And if you pull it out, you'll see there is a plug on the other end that mimics a bulb. So this is like the housing for a bulb and this is just a plug with a singular cable and that cable was the wrong side. So you can actually pull this little black part out of the gray one straight out just like a regular bulb that would go in here um, and flip it around. And now it works. Same thing with the low beam. So if you look at the low beam, the white and black, that is your ground. The red is gonna be your power supply and that pinned connection is the white one for your low beam so that was also on the wrong side so if i had to guess it's going to be the same thing on the passenger side headlight um i'm kind of disappointed and upset that i had to do that it uh, kind of shows a little bit of a quality control issue from my standpoint right if it's coming from the factory with not one but two wiring problems on a singular headlight and i'm seeing the same issues on the other one um, now it might be that maybe my year of tacoma flipped the leads or they were using a different a different year tacoma headlight housing something like that uh which would you know maybe have them on the opposite sides i don't really know in which case they made them specifically for that one because at least it seems relatively standard so they work they look sick I'm gonna go ahead and get both of them put in there and uh, we'll take a peek at them with uh, the new look. The headlights are in. They look absolutely incredible. And it's highly recommended guys that you do not remove the plastic until you've put it all back together. I know this is an off-road vehicle and they're gonna get all kinds of messed up, but I'd like to keep it pretty as long as I can. Uh, I've just been kind of cleaning up inside of the engine bay. Every time I take my bumper off, I like to go back through and hit a couple of the rust spots with spray paint just to keep the rust from building. It is a steel bumper and it will rust. Also, now is a great time for you all to go back and recheck torque on all of your nuts and bolts holding everything together. You know, make sure that all your lights and plugs and stuff are kind of running and going where you want them to. And now, for the best part. Oh yeah. Oh my God, those are absolutely gorgeous, man. Oh yeah. Always the best part. Oh, those look so good.
super interesting about these headlights is that. So one, one of the bulbs, I think it's the uh, most like inwards, most centerline bulb, um, is blasting light very, very high. And I, it's assumed that that's probably for like street lights and that kind of stuff. But I didn't know that headlights did that. That's pretty cool. And then prepare to be blinded. There's your high beams, which don't really change a whole lot, but. So it's foggy, which gives me an amazing opportunity to show y'all the uh, <clears throat> that one light beam that kind of sticks up at a 45 from the truck. Um, you can see how far up <laughs> those beams actually go, you know? Like I said, I don't really know the purpose for that. I, I'm thinking maybe because signs and stuff that are really up high up on the side or on the, uh, the streets that maybe you'd want to have the beams up that high. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's foggy, so I thought I'd show you. I will say though that the beam pattern that comes off of these headlights is absolutely incredible. So I've got the high beams on right now. Um, and it is foggy and you can see just how pointedly like perfectly aligned the beams are coming from both headlights and they meet at the exact same spot so I got low beams here and you can see the the weird 45 bulbs and then when I kick on the high beams not only do they throw light really far but they also are very very precise so I'm super happy with these I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please drop a like and a subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. It's getting really cold out here. It's like 45 degrees and dropping. So uh, I'm gonna go inside where it's warmer and I'm not in a t-shirt. So see you guys next time. Minette, sign out.